Rostra Precision Controls, a QS9000 and an ISO 9001 certified manufacturer, would like to introduce you to its latest state-of-the-art automotive accessory, the Rostra Obstacle Sensing System, or the ROS for short. Like other Rostra accessories, the ROS is proudly made in the USA and carries our three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. The Rostra Obstacle Sensing System, or ROS, is a microwave motion sensing system that alerts the driver of the vehicle to an obstacle in the rear of the vehicle. The ROS works on any vehicle equipped with reverse lights and with a 12-volt electrical system or power supply. The ROS is intended to be operational only when the vehicle is in reverse. The ROS operates in all weather and light conditions and is very easy to install. Choose one of the two applications for your vehicle. Kit number 2501594 for below bumper installation, it's our standard kit. Or kit number 2501594A for behind bumper application, it's our sensitive kit. Installation can be broken down into a few simple steps. There are two types of bumper construction, a solid metal bumper or a plastic covering over a metal core. The Ross system is intended for vehicles less than seven feet in width, so be sure to measure the width of your vehicle when inspecting the bumper construction. Also, check to make sure the sensor is mounted at least 14 inches from the ground. This will help eliminate false alarms caused by the sensor being mounted too low. Before mounting the sensors, regardless of bumper construction, the following steps must be taken. Locate the center of the vehicle and then measure from the center to either edge of the bumper. Locate the center of this measurement. This is the point where you will mount the sensor. Repeat this step for the other half of the bumper. The sensors and the module are waterproof, so do not be concerned about mounting the sensor or module in an open location. Do not mount the sensors within five inches of the muffler, exhaust pipe assembly, or any other moving object. Using the mounting hardware provided in the kit, mount the sensor to the bottom face of the bumper in the location previously identified. Look for a pre-drilled mounting hole. If the hole is too large to use the provided star washer, you'll need to modify the mounting bracket provided. If no hole is located, you'll need to drill a mounting hole. For this type of application, install the mounting stud onto the sensor assembly. Insert the stud through the mounting hole. Install the mounting plate, star washer, and thread hex nut on the stud and tighten securely to hold the sensor in place. Make sure the sensor is parallel with the ground. The sensor needs to be level for best performance and cannot be mounted below 14 inches, which is measured from the bottom of the plastic housing. Repeat this procedure for the other sensor. Inspect the bumper from underneath the vehicle. If you can access bumper support easily from the bottom, then install the sensors from under the vehicle. If you cannot reach the support, then remove the plastic cover per the manufacturer's instructions. Using the mounting bracket provided, manufacture a bracket. For best performance, the sensor cannot vibrate when in operation, so the shorter the bracket, the better the application. Install the bracket onto the sensor assembly with the hardware provided. Secure the mounting bracket in place with the self-drilling screws provided in the location previously determined. Also, the sensor face must be less than two inches from behind the plastic bumper cover. Make sure the sensor is parallel with the ground. The sensor needs to be level for best performance. Also, the sensor cannot be below 14 inches. This is measured from the bottom of the plastic housing. For ease of installation, mount the module assembly outside in the rear of the vehicle. Using any of the leftover mounting hardware, mount the module assembly. Make sure the module is mounted securely and out of the way of hot and moving objects. Once the module is mounted, route the sensor harness leads to the module main harness. Connect the harness lead marked with a red piece of tape to the connector on the main harness also marked with a red piece of tape. Repeat this step for the side marked with a green piece of tape. 
Tie strap all wire harnesses away from any sharp, hot, or moving objects. You can choose either to make your wire connections under the vehicle or inside the vehicle. It is preferred that you make the wire connections inside the vehicle. You'll need to locate the reverse light wire. An easy way to do this is by inspecting the rear tail light assembly. Once you identify the light socket for the reverse light bulb, use a voltmeter to locate the power wire. This will be the wire that displays 12 volts when the ignition key is in the on position and the gear selector is in reverse. When the vehicle is in park or neutral, no voltage will be present. Connect the blue wire from the Ross main harness to the positive wire in the reverse light circuit. You'll also need a good chassis ground. In some cases, the bulb socket will have two wires. Test the other wire in the socket for ground. If you have a good ground, use this wire from the ground location. If the socket has only one wire, it is recommended that you use an original vehicle ground location that is free of rust, paint, or grease. Connect the black wire from the Ross main harness to a known good chassis ground. For wire access inside the vehicle, use an existing grommet. After routing the wires, make sure you seal the access hole with an appropriate sealing material. The audio LED control unit has to be mounted inside the vehicle. Depending on the type of vehicle, it can be mounted beneath the rear parcel shelf behind the trim panel. The two-wire connector from the module unit plugs into the two-pin connector on the control unit. The LED display unit plugs into the other connector on the control unit. Notice the hole in the control unit. This hole allows you to adjust the volume of the piezo alarm. If the volume is not to the desired level, use a small Phillips screwdriver and adjust the volume level. Prior to installing the LED display, make sure the mounting surface is clean and free of oil, film, or dust. Simply peel the paper off the adhesive strip and stick the LED display in the desired location. It is recommended that the LED display be mounted in a location that when the driver is turned to reverse the vehicle, the driver can see the LED display. The Ross system is designed to be used only when the vehicle is in reverse. To test your system, use your driveway or a quiet parking lot. Identify an obstacle such as a parked car or building. Park your vehicle so that your rear bumper is approximately 20 feet from the obstacle. With your vehicle still in park and the vehicle ignition switch turned on, the visual display should not show any lights, nor should the Ross sound any alerts. With the brakes applied, place your vehicle in reverse. The visual display should show a solid green light. Slowly release the brakes and begin to back your vehicle toward the obstacle. As you back your vehicle closer to the selected obstacle, you should receive the audio and visual alerts outlined in Table 1. Continue backing toward the obstacle until you receive the alerts for the hazard zone or the danger zone. Be advised that the obstacle may appear in both of these zones. Once the obstacle is detected in the danger zone or the hazard zone, place your vehicle in park and turn the engine off. Repeat this entire procedure using another obstacle. Because of differences in obstacle moisture content and density, the Ross will detect some obstacles further away from the bumper than others. The Ross system is designed to supplement other safety practices by enhancing driver awareness of difficult to see areas. The Ross system does not take any automatic action to prevent accidents. Responsibility for safe operation of the vehicle remains with the driver. Failure to operate the Ross in a manner specified in the owner's manual could result in personal injury, property damage, or possibly death. The Ross system requires no maintenance and will give you years of trouble-free service. If you do have a problem with installation, please consult the installation manual for system troubleshooting. If you still have a question or a comment, feel free to contact our technical service department at 910-277-1828 or drop us a fax at 910-276-1354 or visit our website at www.rostra.com for the latest vehicle applications, technical bulletins, or to send us email. If you do have a question with regards to customer service, feel free to call us at 910-276-4853 or toll-free 800-782-3379.
Thank you for purchasing a quality accessory manufactured by Rostra Precision Controls. Rostra manufactures smart products for smart consumers. Obstacle sensing system, it's what they can't see that will cost them. Cruise controls, speed control at your fingertips. Seat heaters, warm up with just the touch of a button. Lumbar support, shape your seat for optimal comfort. Safe View, a better choice for visibility. Increase your driving pleasure. Allow yourself a little luxury.